What's going on? Alpha Wolf here, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the den. Back another episode of the First Descendant. You know, we got the waifu wolf girl. Hey yo! Make sure you check out her channel for her point of view and gameplay. Also, come check out her Discord where maybe you can give us some hints and tips. Or ask for some hints or tips if you are also playing the First Descendant since it's such a popular game right now. Links are in the description. And now, curl up inside the den, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. I want to talk to these people because I haven't done that yet. So we got the leader of the excavation team. She roams on the continent of Ingress, excavating and collecting ancient relics. Right, so she don't do anything. Then there's a Captain Harris. Fixing and making things is my will. The leader of the construction corps, which is in charge of setting up outposts and various battle equipment throughout all of Ingress. With her outspoken personality and excellent leadership skills, she has taken up the mantle of construction corps captain actor Kyle. Huh. I think maybe once the season progresses, we might be able to talk to them. Mm, or just later in the game in general. Alright, so we need to pull up my quest lines. Go talk to Alpha in the Albion Operations Center. Alright. There isn't much time. Vesper's Operation time. Results Report. Descendant. Do you have something positive to report, finally? Where's the Ironheart now? What? I gave the order for Jeremy to retrieve the Ironheart. I never did that. Mm -hmm. There must have been a misunderstanding. Nell, did you send those instructions? I've done no such thing over any official channel, and even unofficially. I have no reason to contact him. Something's not right. Could it be? Nell, contact Jeremy. Now. I can't get through to Jeremy. His Aceive has been deactivated. Of and there's no record has. of him entering mm -hmm. Albion either. Mm -hmm. It can't be. Jeremy is still a descendant. Even if he's sometimes led astray. He's a descendant fighting for humanity who despises the Vulgus with every fiber of his being. Alpha, we should see if we can detect Jeremy's RK and traces of the Iron Heart through the guide. Except he actually discuss he discuss he's disgusted by us more and he's probably pissed off he can't talk to the guy. Pushed him over the edge. I think he's power hungry too. Yeah. He acts like his ability is so cool but he just teleports. Mm-hmm. Alright. Talk to the guide. There you go. Guides void detection capability. Descendant, I've heard about Jeremy. But there's something I must tell you first. When I came into contact with the energy from the second Iron Heart, a new function was restored to my system. It's an algorithm for amplifying the void energy sensory field. An early warning system for detecting colossi that are drawn to the Iron Heart. However, Perhaps because it was transferred through Jeremy's RK, which I am not synced with, my operating system is rejecting this function. Even now, alarm bells are ringing. My functions have been interrupted and my system cannot be recalibrated. Descendant, I am in no doubt that a colossus is heading towards Ingress at this very moment. Please transfer my sensory field amplification algorithm to Seneca. If we can intercept that Colossus and recalibrate my system, Jeremy and the Ironheart can be found. Please, help me, Descendant. It appears we have no choice. Ready. Please handle whatever the Guide needs first. As Talk Alpha said, Descendant. we cannot rely on the Guide alone. HQ will do their best to identify Jeremy's last known location and prepare for a pursuit operation. Alright. Now we got Void Radar Upgrade. Descendant, is this code related to the Void? This algorithm is sophisticated enough to be applied right away. This is truly incredible. So this is the power of the guide that the Descendants have spoken of. But now is not the time to marvel at it. Based on the results calculated from the amplified sensory field, it seems a powerful colossus the Executioner is heading toward Ingress. As you likely recall from your Descendant training, 
The blade wielded by the Executioner is a sensitive conductor. If you allow it to power up, it will increase the time you spend in the void. And the likelihood of failing to intercept the Colossus increases exponentially. Descendant, please proceed with the intercept immediately. Immediately. Alright, you need a minute to prep? Alright, you get to go. I just need a quick minute. So this colossus. Have you completed preparations? The executioner. So maybe throw on some electric, electric resistance, <clears throat> and weak against poison. So maybe add poison damage to your gun. I am analyzing the void paradox. <laughs> Excuse me. We got his balancer, which is his knee, and then his chest and his head piece, the sensor. It's his destructible part. Removable part is shoulder and core. And then once he's frenzied, he's got a thing on his back, an amplifier. Weak pointing burst shit. Didn't pay attention to see what weapon they got. Pickled pickle, huh? Luis Santos Rivera. He's got two or three hummingbirds on his back. Yeah. Got him. Good deal.
Oh, you son of me. Thank you. Chit 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 chit. How's it go? Smithereens blueprint. Oh yeah. Hmm. See what I got. <clears throat> Wave of light synthetic fiber blueprint. Go back. Zip. Uh, that's, uh, wrong rabbit. <laughs> Lay forest. <laughs> Let's see what kind of stuff we got.
Man, I wish I could get some good stuff from my dude. I got two gold toxic reactors. Nice. They're not <clears> as good <throat> as what you would think though, because if you notice, um Oh, did you get the you get the reactors? If you notice it yeah. says like optimization condition. So like mm -hmm. with the purple ones, it can be anything. Like so if it says launcher weapon class equipped, as long as you have a rocket or a grenade launcher thing equipped, it'll give you the extra forty percent skill power. But the things with the ultimate ones, the gold ones, is it has to be an ultimate weapon with that name. So you have to use that weapon and you have to be holding it. Doesn't say equipped, it says on or whatever it says. On deck or whatever. Attached mm. or whatever the hell it says. Here we are. That's not as good as people think. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go talk to Seneca. The space time fabric of the void is Seneca's concern. You succeeded in intercepting the executioner. An extraordinary display of skill. If there was a descendant like you a century ago, I'm certain we would have been able to stop the apocalypse. Right, and we there are no what ifs in history, of course. But the apocalypse has left such a deep wound on humanity. Regardless, if we allow ourselves to ponder all of the what ifs, Perhaps things would be better if the Iron Hearts had never existed in this world. Every time an Iron Heart is uncovered, it's as if the Colossi are awoken and head to Ingress. Yeah, the probably tried to it. But ironically, we also need the Iron Hearts to stop the Colossi. It is one of the great paradoxes. Descendant, perhaps this is exactly why the ancestors sealed the Iron Hearts in vaults. I'm beginning to suspect that perhaps the ancestors hid the Iron Hearts away to prevent history repeating itself. Yep. We will need extensive preparation for the moment when the third Iron Heart is revealed. Hmm. There is much that I would like to discuss with you, and also with the entity known as the Guide, if possible. However, we do not have the luxury of time right now. HQ is urgently looking for you, Descendant. You should make your way there as quickly as possible. Descendant, thanks to you, the stability of my system was restored. However, the Iron Heart has slipped from our grasp. While you were stopping the Colossus, I delivered the necessary information to Enzo. It is likely that HQ will be preparing countermeasures. Yep, yeah, you know what they say about too much power. Absolute yeah. power corrupts absolutely. <laughs> The claws, they kind of remind me of uh, Titans and Kaijus combined. A little bit. <laughs> here we have Jeremy the Traitor. Ah, Descendant, you're here. Thank you for all your hard work with the Intercept battle. Unfortunately, we need to drag you into another operation before you get a chance to rest. <laughs> Albion has entered uncharted territory. A Descendant has committed treason. A Descendant. Someone who should have been humanity's beacon of hope. Damn it! How could this have happened? HQ has officially denounced Jeremy as a traitor. A rapid arrest operation is in progress. Enzo received intel from the guide and was first on the scene. Jeremy is heading towards Echo Swamp. As the enemy's attention is keenly focused on this location and because of the swampy terrain, deployment of forces on a large scale will be difficult. To make matters worse, we've lost contact with SMO. He was carrying out another operation in the area. This is going to be SMO's domain. SMO's support was vital. <laughs> Enzo won't be able to command and fight by himself. Our lack of manpower is delaying the operation. If we don't hurry, we'll be delivering the Ironheart to the Vulgus on a silver platter after we worked so hard to get it. We must prevent that from happening at all costs. Rules of engagement for Jeremy will be sent separately. If possible, I would like to have him brought back alive. So you could give him a big old smack again. As his commander. Hmm. And why he did what he did. Go out Slap the shite up. And please, yep. <laughs> find the Ironheart and bring it back. 
I will tell Enzo to prepare and to resume the operation. Slap Jeremy again. Understood. Descendant, <clears throat> wrap up any preparations for reinforcements quickly and head to the Misty Woods outpost in Echo Swamp. Enzo is awaiting your arrival. He's like, ain't no way no grown man just slap me. I'll mm. show you. Alright, so we go into the Misty Woods outpost in Echo Swamp. <clears throat> Swamp. I'm gonna go visit Shrek. Where's Shrek? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say where Shrek lives. Mm -hmm. But of course you beat me to it. <clears throat> Cause in the morning, we're making pancakes. Alpha, thank you for the reinforcements. Mm -hmm. Recommencing pancakes. the operation to hunt down Jeremy. And I've uh... sent number 17 of the Kolong Special Forces to help with tracking Jeremy. Get the sit rep from Enzo and carry out the operation. All right, and so what's the sit rep? This operation must succeed. The best quartermaster now be on a descendant who uses exceptional intelligence to serve as an executive officer for HQ. He's also an older cousin to Lepic, who is the complete opposite in personality. The resumption of operations. All right, we've had some delays, but I'm happy to say we can now restart the pursuit. First things first, as we've lost contact with Esimo, there are no other descendants who have the power to handle the battle. We had to suspend the search and blockade construction. I'm afraid we'll need a rescue operation for Esimo. He was deployed here on a mission to destroy a Vulgus facility, and we've lost contact with his unit. If possible, I think searching for Esimo while we continue with the rest of the mission is a good idea. While our operation was delayed, the Volgus deployed their forces throughout the swamp. We think they sensed something was up with Jeremy. I got impatient, so I took command and attacked. But because the soldiers couldn't receive their orders in time, we nearly experienced heavy losses. After that, the Volgus forces increased and rapid deployment of soldiers wasn't feasible. It seems Jeremy used this to his advantage and went deeper into the swamp. So starting now, we'll be focusing on reconnaissance to expand the search area. If you go on ahead, the soldiers will follow and establish a barricade. This will allow for much wider RK distribution, which will be an advantage in tracking both Jeremy's RK and the Iron Heart traces. We have to overextend ourselves a little. We have no choice. Based on the intel from the guide, it's clear Jeremy has some kind of plan in mind. Apparently, Jeremy's voice was captured through the Ironheart Pulse, however briefly that was detected. This is what was recorded. I knew it, I was right. The Volgus here have all been enhanced through superior DNA. Mm -hmm. The quality of this Kuiper is perfect, though it would have been good to secure both DNA and Kuiper in advance. Oh, yeah. You heard him, right? DNA, Kuiper... I have no idea what he's talking about, but I know this operation needs to resume quickly. The area where the guide picked up Jeremy's voice is a way off. We've got a long road ahead of us. Us. This operation. We're all slowly sinking into this swamp. I'm not happy about it. Be prepared for unexpected combat situations. I leave the mission in your capable hands. Okay. I go. Descendant. Enzo may have told you that Jeremy seems to be up to something. The Ironheart pulses are stopped, which means he must have put it back inside the quantum storage box used by the descendants. We cannot allow Jeremy to take the Ironheart again. That much is certain. Like we have no other choice but to go to the zone where we picked up his voice and investigate. Oh, I forgot to change my mod back. Shit. Ooh, ow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
sit down. You like that? I like that. Diabolical laugh. Mm hmm. I melt the cave. Alright, we need to run away from this area though, so I can actually change my mod back. It's fine. I notice every time we go to a new area, too, these like munition things hold like a specific set of resources it seems why don't you actually step inside safety because otherwise they probably still can get you <clears throat> just saying somehow i got leveled up so yeah i mean your uh master rank no, it just, we had two other people join in, and one of them was shooting, and suddenly I leveled up. So I don't know if, like, they joined in or what, but... Somebody joined in nothing because we uh, aren't in a mission unless you click things. No, I didn't click anything. Alright, come on this way. Don't shoot anybody because it'll probably make you join a mission. He probably ran back there because he was getting beat up. Oh, what the hell? Where are you going? Get out of here before somebody else starts the game, boys. This one right here. That's probably the one they're in right now, too. Yep. <clears throat>
job. I'll send the Vulcan's DNA mm. to be analyzed in Albion. outpost for a moment. There's a lot to discuss concerning the Volgus and Kuiper. Now, I know the pursuit is urgent. There's just a few things I'd like to highlight. Arcanzo. This operation must succeed. Jeremy's traces. Regarding Jeremy's defection, the plan is to capture him alive and carry out a detailed interrogation. However, after analyzing the characteristics of the Vulgus DNA and the Kuiper, I think we need to understand Jeremy's motives first, so that we can be two steps ahead of him. First off, from the Vulgus DNA collected here, we identified malignant cells, those which have been exposed to void energy. Well, we'd call them malignant cells, but for the Vulgus, they're more of a genetic enhancement. They give them higher bone density and muscle growth. And we've detected high levels of void energy in the Vulgus Kuiper you discovered. To humans, this affected Kuiper is highly contaminated material which cannot be processed and used for any products. But for the Vulgus, it is enhanced Kuiper. Can you see the connection? Yeah, cancer. Both the cells and the Kuiper have been altered as the result of exposure to the void, and both are needed to create enhanced Vulgus. I'm not sure why Jeremy needs them, but I do know where we can find them. The Abandoned Zone. Throughout Ingress's history, it's been identified as the first area to be connected to the Void Dimension, and the worst source of contamination is located in Echo Swamp. That's where we need to go. We can either overtake Jeremy, or at least find traces of him. Huh? Hold on. That's the emergency comm signal. Oh, shy. Is anybody there? This is Esimo. We can't move. We're surrounded by enemy forces. Esimo, what's your location? I'm at the abandoned area. I was sent here on a mission to destroy the Vulgus facility. But at this rate, I'll be the one being destroyed. Like hell you will. Sending reinforcements right now. Alright. So, we need to go... Here, abandoned zone. Zippity zoop. This operation must succeed. Asimo's communications. Asimo, please respond! Ah, damn it! We've lost contact. That wasn't much to go on. Right now, the only thing we can be sure of is that they're nearby. Actually, this works in our favor. 
This is our chance to rescue Esimo and track down Jeremy. I'll search for traces of Jeremy and the Ironheart with a guide. Please rescue Esimo and take him to the forward base. I am definitely detecting a very minute presence of RK in this zone. I appear to be unable to transfer my consciousness into it. This narrows it down to two possibilities. Either this is Jeremy's RK, or the RK of Esimo, who is unconscious. We can't miss this opportunity. You guys suck. Mm-hmm. Enemy target identified. But it doesn't seem to be a commander level. Take them out anyway. Oh shit. That hurt. Real bad. Inner facility service. Good job on that. Those guys hit or any conflict. Yeah. I'll need to search a different zone. We did good. Yeah. And uh here. Fish one. Loading. I've activated an eco scan surveyor. If something happens here, the drones should pick it up. Ideally, we'll find some info on Jeremy, but we can hope to at least get some. I feel like this is gonna be a trap. <laughs> I need you to retrieve some of the drones and return them. Oh, we're gonna do this nonsense. Yes, sir. Thank you. Analysis oh, crap. complete. Based on the data collected, we've identified the unique chemical substance that SMO gives off. We've also found traces of Jeremy's arcade. We 
follow SMO's traces, we should be able to find Jeremy as well. It's not that far. The RK is fading. We must move quickly. Thick fog makes it difficult to carry out aerial reconnaissance. But I will keep trying. Please be careful. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, son of a... I'm trying to crawl to you. We've detected the irregular vibrations nearby. The Volgus are swarming in that direction. Thank you. Yes, another track. I get uh, assault rifle kills, but it's not as strong as my scout rifle. That one guy can though. Mm -hmm. Why is he running away from it? I guess they're not doing it. Or it's on cooldown. I still can't locate SMO. There must be something else jamming the signal. Keep your eyes peeled. Squad is inbound. As Esmo mentioned, if they 
finish charging, we're all done for. Fuckered. I'm no use to you <laughs> in this state. I'll join you later on. Alright, you gotta give me a minute because I got stuff to pick up. Alright, he's Thanks doing this you. thing real fast. Did you see Jeremy and his I think. on your way here? Oh. I'm not sure they know what they're after or what their next move is. I'll brief everyone. Gather round. Maybe, maybe I not. don't think so. Alright, well, let's go. Well, give me a I minute. know, like, but let's get out of there so we don't get stuck in a mission. Because there was stuff I needed to pick up. Oh, well, that's fine. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, wait. He did start it, I think. Yeah, he did. Alright, now we can go to the next one.
Decimo. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. The yes, traitor's yes. tale. An explosive expert who feels contentment from blowing everything up, but a senator who is a maestro of detonations and an utter explosion fanatic. In contrast to his gruff appearance, he possesses the kind heart and treasures his family. As you know, my mission was to remove the source of the contamination in the abandoned area before it spread to Albion. Where you rescued me, near the pipe there, my unit and I were looking for the source of the contamination connected to that pipe. We were on the verge of finding it. But the soldiers in my unit started getting sick, one by one, from some unknown disease, while the Order of Truth seemed to be getting stronger by the day. You know I have a sensitive nose, right? Well, my soldiers and the enemy smelled the same to me, but their symptoms, how the disease affected them, were the opposite of each other. It doesn't make any sense. Once I figured that out, I didn't just sit on my butt. I mobilized all of my men who were able to move and scoured the nearby area. That's when they turned on me. I knew I shouldn't have pushed them so hard. Jeremy showed up, and you know what that idiot said? Albion considers all of you to be expendable. Follow me, and I'll give you power. Let's take down Albion together. Ah, it sounded like a bunch of hogwash. But then he took out the Iron Heart. And it was the first time any of us had seen something that had seemed like just a rumor. To be honest, it was also the first time I'd seen the real thing in person. And even I thought it was pretty extraordinary. Though because I'd been connected to the guide from the start, I didn't fall for Jeremy's speech. That's right. But when that bastard said what he needed for his plan was nearby, one by one, my men pointed their guns at me. What did Jeremy say it was again? What he needed? That's right, a seed storage. And I knew the source of the contamination was there too. My nose told me. The nose knows. You're planning on going to the seed storage now, aren't you? Yep. In that case, focus on finding Jeremy. Oh yeah. Destroying the source of the contamination, the seed storage, was my original mission. I'll try and recover and get back on track with that as soon as possible. I'll make sure to blow up whatever it is Jeremy is trying to get his hands on. Alright, let's check out some of those. Yeah. Alright. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm almost ready. I really should just stop picking up blue drops and go for purple. And all that. No, pick them up because they're, you want to break them down for the materials. <laughs> And you not pick up blue? That's not a thing. Are you feeling okay? I know. <laughs> I like my shinies. I just got so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Stoof. Stoof. Mm -hmm. You've been using your filter? No. I I honestly do not know how to apply said filter. I will teach you. Not right now, but I will teach you later. Teach me the ways. Come on. All right. Come, come. I'm coming, come, 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 come. Follow Senpai. Senpai? Oh, give me this one. Public. Let's go. Ooh, what is the? What's the orange mine here? Explosive. Oh, it's for Easton. Of course it is. Share and enhance cells. Cool. Let's go, Bubble.
Luna Moon Goose, huh? Mm. We've secured the airspace above the operation zone. I'll leave you to handle the interior. Enzo has minimized external interference. We should be able to better focus on our objectives. Descendant, we need to determine what the Vulgus are doing inside the cave. We need to know why the items that Jeremy is pursuing are inside, as well as what they are. As Jeremy is not linked to me, there is no way for me to know what he is planning. We must stop him before it is too late. Commence load. Oh, come on. You don't have mods on. Yeah, I kind of did a... Oopsie on one of them. Oh, come Maybe on. Maybe Jim's working with them. Mm. What's wrong? I've got to equip all these damn mods and you guys are doing... Okay, yep, we're going. Yep. Standards, Gonna get mad. This is contaminated waste. Because I equipped the new guns and they don't have any of the damn mods and oh, you guys are doing this whole mission. Well, to be fair, they're so still going ahead. Yep. Jeremy took it. There are no access records on this terminal for anyone aside from us. That is all I can discern for now. We must if I don't hurry, I'm going to miss all these damn drones. I will focus on detecting pulses from the Ironheart. And the damn lost the found system doesn't seem to work, so... Kuiper refinery here, concealed from the vigilant eyes of Albion. Just the idea that Alzarok exists is proof enough for me that we can't allow this to continue. We will finalize the detonation of the facility while you eliminate the enemy forces. Powerful enemy units have been deployed to protect the Kuiper. Please be on your guard. Based on data analysis, the high-density Kuiper produced in this cave was used to enhance the Vulgus who occupied this zone. The Vulgus made a lot of effort to enhance their forces. I admit it, Esimo was right to follow his nose. Oh. The question is, why does Jeremy want this? The substance Sorry, cannot be used by humans. There are no signs of Jeremy here either. It may be because of the contamination. No. The density of the Kuiper was too low for that. Jeremy was after high-density Kuiper, and he didn't touch any of this. Check the total amount of Kuiper within the facility. Take this! Suddenly interested in the Kuiper I refine. How surprising. There is a larger Kuiper deposit on the other side of the facility. But you should focus on eliminating the enemy first. on the other side of the facility is enough to create Alzarok level Vulgus for centuries. It probably contains a high level of contamination. What? Okay, everybody get out. I'm going to blow it to hell right now. SMO, don't blow it up yet. Jeremy might still be inside. <laughs> don't blow it up. You know, screw that guy. Yeah, blow him up. any evidence of Jeremy at any of the other Kuiper deposits. Yeah, see, we're good. Blow him up. There may be signs of him on the other side of the facility. Knight is right. Jeremy will probably be after the Kuiper with the highest density. I'm so pleased that you came all this way in person, Descendant. I'm curious about the effectiveness of the enhancements to my forces. Would you be so kind as to test them for me? The Sargus Commander seems to be saying they're the first to arrive. Descendant, we must secure this area before Jeremy can. Commence loading. 
First time I played with like another Lepic and we both used our grenade. And it kind of separated them. It was kind of neat, but not at the same time. Either. Riggity wreck. Oh, I got a gold reactor too. It appears that there is another <laughs> more important zone to the Vulgus than this one. Thankfully, Jeremy did not progress that far. We must destroy this place before he can obtain the Kuiper. If we destroy this location, there will be no suitable zone for Jeremy to obtain high density Kuiper from. Should he look for Kuiper in an outside source, he will not be able to avoid being detected by us. Yeah, see, this one you have to have Nazestra's Devotion mounted. I Meaning you have to have that equipped to get that extra 60%. I think I'd rather have a, a, a purple one so you just get, get the guarantee 40 that extra 20% might be good, but at the same time, probably not either for the effect you have to be holding that weapon. Alright, now I can properly put mods on. wonder how much I can upgrade the shield of the sword one thing. On some of my doubles, maybe. Don't break down purples or orange doubles. Because you're no. going to want to convert those where you take four and make a new one let's just break down like the blue ones get 6k off that huh? if we have the 14 but I don't think it's going to be enough so if that's at 8 Not enough. Wait, do I have enough to hit jackpot? No, I need twenty five grand, man. I need that as part of my build, though, so I gotta make some tough choices. That's skill duration of plus five. What happens if I upgrade that one? 
Am I gonna get more in plus five? Welcome. You're here for modules, right? Oh, you get like three percent. All right. I think I'm gonna start hitting like a truck <laughs> with my ultimate now. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm gonna be slapping. You got all your stuff sorted? Yeah. I just save my loadout. Yeah. Right. Have you been using the presets to save your loadout? Uh with Bunny I did. Yeah, I got one for Bunny the... and another one for my dude. For Lippy. Ready to talk to Alpha? Yep, I'm running up over there right now once I get myself turned around. Okay. We got Just seed vault play. operation result report. Jeremy has got hold of Vulgus DNA. And contaminated Kuiper? Well, the bastard always had a special interest in the Vulgus. He was always praising the Vulgus girlfriend. The Vulgus had their power, their technological prowess, and the possibilities that they unlocked through genetic improvements. I didn't want to discourage him as he was doing useful research into the enemy's capabilities, but I can't deny his obsession made his teammates uneasy. I think it's a little bit more of his obsession. Where he captured a Vulgus production facility. Might just been his attitude. He argued that Albion also needed to create artificial soldiers. The Colon Counterintelligence Unit investigated his research and seized his records. He was sent to the detention center for a time as a result of what they discovered. He was nearly expelled as a descendant. Wait. Once he's acquired the Ironheart... There's no reason he won't go ahead with his plan. I wonder if that's why he studied the autopsy report on Alzarok so carefully. Yeah, I'd bet on it. He's likely after more than the quantum storage box containing the Ironheart. We need to examine all records involving Jeremy and any of Albion's supplies. All right. Now that I understand the gravity of the situation, you may return to the field. I entrust the capture of Jeremy and secure retrieval of the Ironheart to you. Demolition of the sea storage has been completed. Just blow the bastard up. Yep. No matter which way you look at it, it definitely is the tree okay. of truth. Gotta go to uh, an encrypted call. This is Enzo. Identify. Wait, is this Jeremy? What is it? Arresting Jeremy. Okay, I've switched to a public channel as you requested. Now answer our questions. Hey, who is this? If it isn't Alpha's little bit, I mean the descendants. We'll be asking the questions, Jeremy. What is your location? I was just about to thank you guys. I'm inside the seed storage, which you guys so kindly cleaned up for me. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of the Vulcus. I was able to swipe some highly concentrated Kuiper and organic matter, all because of you. <laughs> when did you... Idiot. Did you forget what I can do? 
too as soon as you couldn't see me? There were so many blind spots. Until SMO blew the place up, that is. <laughs> I don't know why you're all making such a big deal out of this guide. She can't guide anyone. She couldn't even find the Ironheart when it was inside a quantum storage box. Jeremy, have you thought about surrendering? Think about the lives of the innocent soldiers you've influenced. Don't you think our bigger concern should be the future of humankind? I'm sick and tired of the incompetence of Albion's military commanders. Actually, having the Ironheart, which we worked so hard to get, why are we so fixated on using it on the dimensional wall? Do you really think this fight will end just because we closed it? Even if we stop the Colossi from coming, how do we plan to deal with all of the remaining Volcus and Ingress? We have more casualties daily than there are new recruits. You think descendants will make a difference? Huh. Even if we can clear an entire battlefield, do you really think that's enough to turn the tide in this war? You're deluded. Descendants are just as vulnerable as the rest of Albion's soldiers. We're all mortal. And if the Magister's equipment breaks and our Arge runs out, descendants will be nothing but frail human beings doomed to die. But the Volcus, they continue to advance even as we speak. The Ironheart makes them even stronger. Humanity needs to be stronger, and I know how. Yeah, but I don't like your method. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Just you wait. Oh, I'm waiting. Jeremy? Jeremy! Damn it! Wait, no, put There's a bull. no way he would have taunted us with an encrypted mm -hmm. call that can only be accessed from a short range. I'm positive he's looking for something near the tree. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm ready to blow it all up. Mm -hmm. SMO, if the output of of the machine are. installed on that tree is correct, half of the swamp will be blown away. Please calm down. <laughs> this is so frustrating. I'm going crazy. We need to take full control of the area around that tree. I like him. He's funny. Mm -hmm. I might, I might actually play as him. Let's just see what his skills are like. I know I definitely want Enzo. All right, let's go. As we can't track Jeremy visually, I've installed a sensor. The moment he sets foot near us, it will activate. Looks like the enemy is also tracking Jeremy, so we'd better capture him first. <laughs> you need to defend the sensor, descendant. It's pretty good.
loading. Might be strong, but you have to keep it at bay. What the hell? Just oh, that heal us. I need uppies, teas. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to die. Thank you. I'll keep the sensor operational until we find Jeremy. My hero. Mm -hmm. Lickety splickety nigga time. Commence loading. Commence loading. Stench that was at the seed storage. Uh, that's gonna be. It looks like Jeremy came here looking for this stuff too. So we better grab it all first. Really?
Oh. Hate those guys. Oh, there's a blue bag there I want to grab. And the bomb. Are we going to the sea? We gotta go take the bomb first. Yeah. Wow, that doesn't give me nothing. Now we'll go to A. Machine mother? That's new. I was about to say that. I gotta go to C. So I wanna see if I got any drops over here. Yep, I'll take some ammo. Alright, now let's get to see. Get dunked on. We got all of it. <laughs> the sensors are operating normally, and we've seized all of Volgus' supplies. Let's get back to the outpost. There's no we need to wait for Dr. Cage to I contact do. us about the next operation. Anyway. There's a void fragment thing over there we can go do, because it's fire, and I can do it. Oh boy. So what we're gonna do. Stuck. You're stuck? El Stucco.
Loading. Ready, Skitty? Ready, Skitty. That's the one that you went to. You mm -hmm. went to the wrong one. Oh shit. My shield is down. How rude. My shield is down. Alright. What can you do over here? Pretty busy. Purpose Looking of the Vulgus DNA solution. Time. Ah, speak of the devil. She's contacting me now. Kate, I'm receiving. The supplies I sent are the ones seized from an important Vulgus facility. We identified them as being highly likely to be targeted by Jeremy, so we went after them first. There's three supply boxes worth. These are genetic materials used to create Vulgus bodies. If Jeremy wants to emulate the process in the Alzorok report, these are the core materials he'll need. But did you say three boxes? Only two have been delivered. Was one intercepted by the Vulgus? What are you talking about, Kate? The delivery speed for Albion supply boxes is too fast to be overtaken by standard transportation. Not by a teleporter. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeremy. His RK abilities. He might be able to grab a supply box midair. Damn it. This is the emergency response system. A supply box on its way to Albion has been intercepted. Last known location is in the they northeast. Look you, Luke. There is a high chance that Jeremy grabbed it. He planned this. Oh man, you've given me everything I needed. You have my eternal gratitude. Don't worry, I'll put these supplies to good use. <laughs> All forces, I'm sending the last known coordinates of the supply box. Move out. Is Jeremy trying to make a pet vulgus? That's disturbing. I have a different theory. Alright. They appreciate it. Ready, Skitty? One momento. All right. Yes. Got it. There I am. I want to. A derelict covert.
Alright, talk to the guy. This is Jeremy's subterfuge. Jeremy has everything he now needs. Void energy. Highly concentrated Kuiper. A focused DNA solution. And the Iron Heart. All of these were used by Eamon when he created Alzarok. Are you saying Jeremy is creating a super strong bulgus that will obey him? I would have expected bigger things from that traitor. Perhaps, as he already has Arcane, he may be attempting to fuse his own body with that of a Volgus, spawning mm -hmm. a new being. But those of Esimo's men who were won over by Jeremy were strongly taken by his words, fully believing what he said. However, there is one thing Jeremy hasn't been able to obtain yet. That's all. An energy output intense enough mm -hmm. to activate the Iron Heart. Fortunately, I do not detect any facilities in this swamp with that level of output. However, if there are any colossi remains in this swamp in fairly good condition, they may still retain an immense amount of power. Then there would be no need to infiltrate an Albion or Vulgus facility. I suspect the remains are exactly what Jeremy is after. Ah! If that's so, that's good news. There aren't any usable Colossi remains around here, so we can finally catch Ain't our- of. Actually, there is one. A while ago, there was an executioner which failed in an intercept attempt and ended up somewhere in this swamp. This is Volgus territory, and I wasn't in a position to go after it at the time, so I left it. Ah, damn it. I guess there was no way of knowing it could be used for this. We need to find the location of the remnants. I'm gonna blow them up so that nobody can use them. Ooh, is this guy over here about to do this? That's tearing over here, booty. Oh, this is the thing I saw. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, no. uh. Sorry. I hope you pass it. No. Yep, yeah, wasted it. Sorry. Buttons shiny. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Keep that real fast. And then there's one here we can do. I'm loading. Number 17 suspending stealth search and converting to support mission. The enemy is on high alert. Prepare me, Mr. Wild. We're trying to obstruct our pursuit. We must eliminate the quickly. Yeah. Reload. Sniper. Another Great sniper stuff. down. Mm -hmm. Oh god damn. Oh, shit. Well I went to throw a bomb or a grenade, but the damn exploding barrels are right there. Oh shit. Continue 
for search for Jim. Good job. Alright, so we wanna get another one over here. Enzo was worried about the enemy reconverging. We should try to hack their database. I'll provide reports and you take care of the enemy forces. <laughs> I'm loading. I think you're having a little bit too much fun there. Uh -huh. I built starting to slap. All right, now we gotta go to B. If it's sniper. So we got one over here. I'll get it. You gonna get those ones? I will do my best to get them. Hey, 
damn it. <laughs> Come on. The, the whole stu like stutter stumble bullshit drives me nuts. Like I like I never played a game where like the movement was so fluid but also so janky all at the same time. Like when it works it's yep. good. When it doesn't, it's bad. Yep, I hear you on that. Seriously. I missed the bus. Or maybe Jeremy's working with the enemy. My bar. Fine, you can hash.
Come on, will you grab the damn ball? I'm jumping around. Hippity hoppity. It's like I anticipate to press the A button. And I'm right there where mm -hmm. it is, but I, I hit it too soon because I'm anticipating it. And you gotta actively wait for it to pop up. So you just jump mm -hmm. in place. Stupid. Don't like it. Yep. Move to the operation zone. Back this way. Descendant, I have temporarily oh. transferred the void radar code to this drone. Connect me to the drone so that I can track the exact location of the remnants of the executioner. This guy really just gonna sit over there AFK and take away our mission attempts. This is gonna keep dying probably. Yeah, you better leave no, the damn left. mission.
enemy has found us. Defend the drone until the tracking is complete. The remains of the Colossus should be there. I will request Enzo to provide aerial reconnaissance. All units, assemble at the shared location. Based on the intel collected during the operation, Jeremy is heading for... Wait a sec. Isn't that Corel's ship? Why the hell is it there? Mm-hmm. I... Yeah, that didn't. I was gonna say, I don't know if this is the way we're supposed to go. What about this one? Can't see. Yep. Get up out of here. Check our stuff before you talk. I'm ready to talk when you are. Almost. Yeah, I'm ready. Operation must succeed. Deep in the chapel. Jeremy, if you can hear me, respond. <sighs> Jeremy, don't do anything stupid. If you claim to still be a descendant, then it is your duty to not let Corel get his hands on the Iron Heart. It's not too late to turn yourself in. If you do, we guarantee your safety. Jeremy, respond. We can't wait any longer. SMO and I will deal with the incoming Volga's forces. You need to head to the location of Jeremy's signal. Aw, uh, really? Do we have to? Mm-hmm. Mm. There it is. Boy domination for Sharon.
We go. Corel's ship is stuck midair. Guide, are you getting any readings? The void signal being generated by the remnants of the Colossus is compromising the sensitivity of my bandwidth. Damn it, the enemy are swarming on this side too. I won't let a single bastard through, but you'll have to take care of whatever's inside. Jeremy, the Ironheart, and the soldiers. None of their fates are certain. Don't look back, Descendant. Keep moving forward. Now that Corel has arrived in person, the Vulgus are fully prepared. Unless we destroy their alarm, they will continue to alert more enemy troops. If we don't destroy it, it will endanger not only us, but Enzo and Essen as well. to extract the signal. Oh, the signal has been interrupted. Disrupted by something. Jeremy may have placed the Iron Heart back into the quantum storage box. SP... Oh no, SP-1 is my way. Now it's Dixie we're missing. Yep, Legion. AFK getting free loot. ship is leaving. Guy, what happened to the Ironheart? I am still unable to track the Ironheart due to its void signal. I cannot detect its pulses. There are bodies ahead. It's the soldiers. Focus ambush. Focus descendant.
peace with the soldiers under Jeremy's command. They are all dead. Asshole. Yep. <laughs> Build is busted. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh-oh. No. Yeah, I thought I froze for a second. Focus. Ooh, predator. Mm-hmm. What? Are you scared right now? This is nothing. Who's scared now? Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that ugly motherfucker. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. Damn. Yeah, poof. Saw that coming. Yeah. Ooh, shank, 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 shank. Mm-hmm. Ooh, he quick.
Yeah, the red one. They kind of look like the creatures from the Matrix. Alright, I can't lie, he's a complete tool, but he is kind of badass. Bob, bye, bye, bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Ooh. He is definitely messed up. <laughs> that thing just gets put back together. Doing. We haven't seen the last of him, unfortunately. Mm -mm. Alright, let's go back to Albion. So we can sort our loot. Lots and lots of shinies. Well, guys, thanks for stopping by the den. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribe to join the wolf pack. Hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to see new content. It's a small thing for you, but it means a lot to me and the rest of the pack. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. And as always, run free as a wolf, my friends, and I'll see you in the next adventure.